Well, students, look at your screen. Here, you know, there is the title. The title for today is here. The topic says, is there a boat? Oh, yeah, we have a question as our topic for today. You know, it says, uh -huh, is there a boat? Yeah. Let's see, today we are going to discover how to use these kind of questions. But first, we have to start singing. Do you remember the song, There's a Beach Ball? Yeah, you remember? There it is. I'm going to play, I'm going to play the song for you. I'm going to show you the lyrics of this song. And here it is. It says, no, there's a beach ball in the sea. There are beach balls. One, two, three. The reason the sun hat on my head, there are in sun hats blue or red. There's a beach ball in the sea. There are beach balls. One, two, three. There isn't a sun hat on my head. There aren't sun hats blue or red. Yeah, those are the lyrics of this song. So we have to sing. Okay, I'm gonna play the music. I'm gonna play the music for you and you are gonna sing with me. There it is. Pay attention. There's a beach ball in the sea. There are beach balls one, two, three. There isn't a sun hat. Oh, yeah, that's a really nice song, right? Do you want to listen one more time? Okay, I'm going to play the song one more time. There's a beach ball in the sea. There are beach balls, one, two, three. a sun hat on my head there aren't sun hats blue or red okay yeah now you know right here we have this was the lyrics and here we learn there's in singular there are in plural para indicarte que hay o que existen right también tenemos the recent and there aren't. The reason is singular, there aren't in plural. Para indicarte que no hay o que no existen. Right? That's why here we have some examples. For example, there isn't a sun hat on my head. No hay un sombrero en mi cabeza. There isn't a sun hat. No? What else? Here we have. There aren't boats on the sea. No hay boats on the sea. In, in plural, right? Boats. There aren't. Yeah? Don't forget, no te olvides. Hemos aprendido esto. There is, there are, there isn't, there aren't. Yeah? Now, here we have something to remember. Do you know the previous class, the last class we were talking? We were talking about this reading. Yeah, no? For example, we we're talking about some uh, different, different uh, uh, objects, right? Here we have different objects that we, that we had, uh, for example, for, for these children, right? These children who are in the sea, they are wearing something here, right? They are with mask, with snorkel, right? They are with fish swimming under the sea, right? Okay. What are you going to do now? Here, you are going to listen and you are going to complete, yeah? Look for a piece of paper, piece of paper and write, write. What should be the answers? ¿Cuáles serán los answers? ¿Cuáles serán las respuestas in this case? We have these alternatives. Beach, fish, flippers, holidays, mask and water. We are going to use these options to complete here. Here we have some different spaces where we have to complete. Yeah? Okay? <clears throat> now, so, P 
pay attention. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the uh, the listening for you. You have to listen and you have to take notes. Okay, then, then you have to tell me the correct answer. Hello, Jocelyn Jesumi, the princess. Okay, yeah. Let's start with the class. Aha, uh -huh, okay, no Lorbe, no problem. Pay attention. There it is. Track 63, Unit 11, Lesson 3, Reading, Exercise 2. Read and write. It's holiday time. The sun is in the sky. It's a nice day. These two children aren't at school. They're at the beach. Look, they're in the sea. But they aren't in a boat. They're under the water. The children can see. They've got masks on their faces. They can breathe under the water too. They've got snorkels. And they've got special shoes called flippers. Are there fish in the sea? Yes, there are. Look! How many fish can you see? Okay, do you know all the answers? Yeah, have you got all the answers? Remember, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six blank spaces. Yeah, I need the answer to all of them. One more time, okay? I'm going to play one more time. So, pay attention, please. Track 63, Unit 11, Lesson 3, Reading, Exercise 2, Read and Write. It's holiday time. The sun is in the sky. It's a nice day. These two children aren't at school. They're at the beach. Look, they're in the sea. But they aren't in a boat. They're under the water. The children can see. They've got masks on their faces. They can breathe under the water too. They've got snorkels. And they've got special shoes called flippers. Are there fish in the sea? Yes, there are. Look! How many fish can you see? Okay, now students, you have to tell me the answers. You have to give me the correct answers for this activity, okay? Yeah. For example, what is the correct answer in the first part? What's the first word? What did they say in this part? It's... What's the answer? I need volunteer. Volunteer to do this activity. Volunteer to answer. Okay, Valentino. Hello, Valentino. Hello, teacher. Okay, please, Valentino. Tell me, what is the answer? Holiday. Okay, give me... Read complete, please. It. Okay. Okay, one more time, please, Valentino. It's holiday time. Very good. It's holiday time. Okay, thank you very much, Valentino. That is the correct answer. I'm going to write here. It's holiday time. Right? Uh-huh. The sun is in the sky. No, it's holiday time. The sun is in the sky. It's a nice day. These two children are in the school. They are at the... What's the answer in this part? I need volunteer. I need volunteer to do this activity. So who can tell me the answer? Who can tell me the answer? No volunteer. Luana. Okay. Hello, Luanita. 
Hello, teacher. Okay, please. What is the answer here, Luana? Fish. Uh, they are other fish. Are you sure? It says, pay attention, huh? the children aren't at the school. O sea que los children no están at the school. They are at the where? Where are they? They are the fish or beach. What do you think is the answer, Luana? Beach. Oh, beach. Thank you very much, Luanita. That's correct, no? They are at the beach. Okay, I'm going to write here the answer. The answer is beach. They are at the beach, right? You know the beach, la playa. Yeah, beach. Okay. Now I'm going to mark this. I'm going to mark this. Holiday and beach. Now, just look, they are in the sea, but they aren't in a boat. They are under the... What is the answer? I need volunteer. Who can tell me the answer on this part? Mm -hmm. No volunteer? No volunteer? Mm -hmm. Come on, students. I need volunteers to do this activity. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I'm, I'm uh, considering yeah, the, the, the points on this part. Okay, nobody, nobody? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start calling. Huh? Uh, if there are no volunteers, I'm going to choose some victims. No volunteers. Okay, I'm going to call. I'm going to start calling here. Acuna Eminik. Okay, where is Eminik? Eminik. Okay. Hello, Eminik. Hello, teacher. Okay, Eminik. Please tell me, what is the answer on this part? They are under the... What do you think? They are under the fish... Flippers, mask, water. What do you think is the answer? There are the, the water. Very good. That's correct, Jasser Eminik. Thank you very much. That's correct. No, they are under the water. That's right. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Let's continue. What else? Here we have it says, no? The children can see they got what they've got what on their faces what is the answer volunteer is there volunteer no volunteer okay tiago hello tiago hello teacher okay tiaguito please what is the answer on that part fish ah uh, they've got fish on their faces you know what is face Rostro, Max, right? Max, Max. Ah, okay. Max. Vamos. Tell me Max. the complete answer. They've got... Mask? Eso, yeah? Pero, pero dilo completo, hijo. They've got... They've got mask. On... On their... Face. Box. Faces, Fair. right? What are the Facebook Fair. faces? Okay, thank you very much, Tiago. That is the correct answer. Now, I'm going to write here faces, okay? Masks, right? They've got masks on their faces. That's correct, yeah? Now, here we have mm -hmm, some options, just two options, no? What says in the next part? It says they can breathe under the water too. They've got snorkels and they've got special shoes called. What is the answer? Rebier. Hello, Sienna. Rebier, hello. Okay, Sianita, tell me. What is the answer? They. They bag of special, 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 special shoes, a ver. Shoes tied with birds. Very good. They've got special shoes called flippers. Thank you very much, Rebier. That is the correct answer, right? They've got flippers. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, they, they, they 
can swim into the water with the flippers, right? And finally, and finally, here we have this, no? It says, <clears throat> well, here we have what is left. Fish, right? This is the last, the last answer, no? Are there fish in the sea? Yes, there are. Look, how many fish can you see? Yeah, there are three fish, right? Are there fish in the sea? Yeah, there are. No, look, how many fish can you see? Well, <clears throat> that's how, right, students? There it is. Now, look at the other part. It says, you have to read, you have to read this, no? It's holiday time, the sun in the sky, right? And then we have to write yes or no. For example, are the children at the school? What is the answer? No. Right? Here, are they in the, in the sea? What is the answer? Yes or no? Hmm? What do you think? I need volunteers, volunteers to do this activity. Aha, uh -huh. Eitan, I'm going to activate Eitan microphone. Hello, Eitan. Hello, teacher. Okay, Eitan, the question is for you. Are they in the sea? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, very good, Eitan. Yeah, no, they are in the sea. Los children están en el sea, pues, right? En el océano, en el mar. Thank you very much, Eitan. That's correct. I'm going to call another student now for the other, for the next one. Eitan, you are going to ask your partner. Okay, don't go, Eitan. A ver, activamos nuestro microphone. Eitan. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm going to write your answer. Your answer is yes, right? Very good. Now, Eitan, you are going to ask, vas a preguntar a Astrid, dile, excuse me, Astrid, y le preguntas esto, are they in a boat? A ver. Excuse me, Astrid, and Kate in a boat? Very good, Eitan, thank you very much. Astrid, are they in a boat, Astrid? Yes or no? No. No. Oh, very good, Astrid. That is the correct answer. Are they in a boat? No, they are not in a boat. Impossible, right? I'm going to write your answer here. Don't go, Astrid. No te vayas, que tú me vas a ayudar a hacer the next question. Yeah? This. You are going to ask, can you see in the water? Can they see in the water? Yeah, you are going to ask uh, Kendra. Dile, excuse me, Kendra. A ver. Astrid. Excuse me, Kendra. Can they see in the water? Very good. Thank you very much, Chavez Astrid. Kendra, hello. Hello, Kendra. Hello. Kendra, are you there, Kendra? Mm, I think something is wrong with Kendra. She's not answering. Okay. Another, another student. Allison. Let me see if Allison is here. Oh, no, Espinosa San Martin is not here. What happens with that girl? I'm going to ask another student. Uh, Simena Heredia, Daleshka. Okay. Hello, Daleshka. Hello. Daleshka, hello. Dale. Hello, Daleshka. I don't know what sí, happened. Okay, Daleshka, please, answer this question. Vas a responder esta question, Daleshka. Can they see in the water los boys? Ellos, can they, can the boys see in the water? Yes or no? What do you think? According no. To Are you sure? Seguro que es no. ¿Y qué pasa con esos masks que se ponen los, los children? ¿Para qué les sirve esas masks? Yes, right. Con esas masks, they can see, pueden ver into water, dentro del agua. Ok. Thank you very much, Doleshka. And the answer in this part is yes. Yes, they can see into water, into the water. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask another student. Okay, where is mm -hmm. Herrera Henry? Let me see if Herrera Henry is here. Mm -hmm. He's not here, no? No está nuestro amigo Henry Perez. Okay, another student. Jocelyn, Jocelyn is here. I saw Jocelyn here. 
Be a Jocelyn por aquí hace un rato. Ok. Ya, Taleshka. You are going to ask Jocelyn, ¿ya? Taleshka, tú vas a preguntar a Jocelyn. The question number five. You are going to say, excuse me, Jocelyn, ¿ya? A ver, Taleshka. Excuse me, Jocelyn. Uh -huh. Can they? Excuse me, Excuse me. Uh -huh. Dile, can they breathe? Hazle esta pregunta. Can they breathe? Breathe. Under the water? Under the water. Okay, thank you very much, Daleshka. Yeah, now, Jocelyn, answer please. Jocelyn, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, please, Jocelyn, answer this question. Can they breathe under the water? Can the children, los children, breathe under the water? Do you remember breathe? Yes. Ok, yes, right. ¿Y con qué se ayudaban eh, Jocelyn para poder breathe, para poder respirar into the water? ¿Te acuerdas? Había algo que se llamaba yes. snor... What? Snorkel. Snorkel. Very good, Jocelyn. That's right. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. That's correct, ¿no? They can breathe. Podían breathe, respirar into the water con la ayuda del snorkel. Right? Do you remember? Yeah, they, they put the snorkel here. Yeah, very good. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. We have to go to the next part. And there it is. Okay, yeah. What says on this part? This is that we are going to do today, yeah? The question, is there a boat on the sea? Yeah, you're going to listen. You're going to listen first this, okay? So pay attention. And let me see. Yeah, there it is. Listen, please. Is there a boat on the sea? No, there isn't. Are there fish in the sea? Yes, there are. Okay, students, here we have some questions, right? Yeah, you know. Tenemos aquí al final un signo de pregunta que significa que esto después, lógicamente, es una pregunta. Right? What is the question? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Dice, is there... Vamos a recordar antes. Nosotros ya hemos estado, o, o ya conocemos el uso del there is para indicar que hay, ¿verdad? Cuando hay algo, cuando existe algo, digo, there is. For example, there is a TV in my living room. Hay un televisor en mi sala. There is a TV. Cuando yo quiero indicar que no hay, ¿qué uso? There isn't. ¿Verdad? Para poder indicar y decir que no hay. For example, yo puedo decir, there isn't, no, there isn't a TV in my kitchen. ¿Verdad? There is para indicar que hay. There isn't para indicar que no hay. There isn't a TV in my kitchen. No hay un televisor en mi cocina. There isn't a TV. Y ahora, finalmente, cuando yo quiero preguntar si es que hay, ¿cómo voy a preguntar? Pues, de la siguiente manera. Simplemente digo, is there. Ahí está. ¿Ve? Esto es la forma de interrogative, la forma de pregunta. Is there, ¿no? For example, digo aquí, is there a boat on the sea? ¿Hay un bote en el mar? ¿No? Ahora el answer is no there isn't. ¿Verdad? Si preguntan con is, tengo que responder con is. Is there a boat? No there isn't. Pero si fuera affirmative, si fuera afirmativo, yo diría yes, there is. ¿Ve? Pregunta con is, respondo con is. ¿Ya? Ahora miren la parte inferior. La pregunta... Dice, are there fish in the sea? 
Yes, there are. ¿Qué sucede aquí? Estoy preguntando con ar, ¿por qué? Porque estoy preguntando en plural, es como decir, hay peces en el océano. Ok, entonces vamos a recordar. You say, affirmative en plural, ¿te acuerdas? There are. There are. For example, there are, a, mm, there are pencils on my table, ¿no? Hay lapiceros en mi mesa. Negativo. There aren't. There aren't pencils. No hay pencils en mi mesa. ¿Ok? No te olvides. Esto hemos aprendido anteriormente. We are just making a remember. Solo les estoy haciendo recordar, ¿no? There are en plural para decir que hay. There are pencils on my table. Negativo. There aren't. No hay pencils. No hay pencils on my table. Y ahora, ¿cómo hago la forma de pregunta? Pues, de la siguiente manera. Are there. ¿No? Are there. This is interrogative. ¿Verdad? Puedo hacer la pregunta como está acá. Are there fish in the sea? ¿No? Hay peces en el océano. Are there fish in the sea? Si es affirmative, si es afirmativo, ¿qué diré? Yes, there are. Pero si fuera negativo, ¿qué diré? No, there aren't. ¿Ok? Así de fácil, así de sencillo. ¿Ok? ¿Is that clear? ¿Está claro? Luanita, yes. Fácil, ¿verdad? Luanita, me dice, qué fácil, teacher. Usted me está enseñando eso desde primer grado. ¿Qué pasa? Ok, ok. Pero tenemos que repasar, pues, Luanita, no problem. ¿Ya? Ok. Now, let's see. We are going to practice. Vamos a practicar. Let's practice on this part. ¿Qué nos dice? Write. Ok, we have to write. Tenemos que escribir qué cosa. Is. Para cuando es affirmative en singular. Isn't cuando es negative. Are cuando es affirmative en plural. Y aren't cuando es negative en plural. No, mira aquí, mira tu pregunta, recuerda, te pregunta con is, respondes con is, te pregunta con are, respondes con are. ¿Entendido? Jesús Venancio, yes, ¿no? Ok, ¿está claro, no, Jesús Venancio? Yes, ok, very good, José Venancio, Jesús Venancio, sorry, is so intelligent. Dice, is there a beach in your town? Y mira el answer, ¿qué dice? Yes, there, ¿cuál será el answer? Ok, let me see, I'm going to ask some students this question okay okay let me see uh, berenice okay where is berenice i'm gonna call berenice hello berenice hello berenice hello 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 berenice estás ahí berenice mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Okay. Hello, Bernice. The question is for you, Bernice. ¿Cuál será la respuesta? Dice, is there a beach in your town? Y mira acá. Te está diciendo, yes, there. ¿Cuál será la respuesta? Yes, there is. Yes, there isn't. Yes, there are. Yes, there aren't. ¿Cuál será la respuesta? Fíjate en el cuadro que tenemos en la parte superior. ¿ve? Ahí tenemos preguntas parecidas. ¿Cómo respondo? A ver, Berenice, what's the answer? Teacher, ¿me puede volver a repetir? Se me en internet. Ok, no hay problema. La pregunta aquí dice, ¿Is there a beach in your town? Te está preguntando con, ¿Is there a beach in your town? ¿Cuál será la respuesta? Yes, there. Yes, there is. Yes, there yes, is. There is. Very good, Bernice. That's correct. Yes, there is. Thank you very much. No, si te pregunta con is, respondes con is. Yes, con is. Yes. Very good. Thank you very much, Bernice. That's correct. That is the correct. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Now, Lucero Llanto. Vamos a ver. Lucero Llanto is here, right? Oh, where is Lucero Llanto? Is not here in the class. Mm -hmm. Llanto, llanto, lucero. Is not here. Okay, ya, yeah. another student. Eh, Jaylo, Jaylo is here. La vi hace un rato. Okay, hello, Jennifer. 
Jennifer, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, Jennifer, please. The next question is for you. What is the answer? It says, great. And, mira aquí, ah. There an ice cream shop es una pregunta. ¿Con qué empezará esta pregunta? Ah, dice, será, is there an ice cream shop? Are there an ice cream shop? Isn't there? Aren't there? ¿Cuál será lo correcto aquí, Jaylo? Mm -hmm. Fíjate bien, está hablando ice cream. ¿Este ice cream será en singular o en plural? Lo analizamos un poco. ¿Está en singular o en plural esta pregunta? ¿Mm? What do you think? What do you uh, think, Jaylo? A ver, analizamos un poquito. Analizamos un poquito. Mira acá. ¿Ya? Podría ser is o podría ser are. Todo depende si es singular o plural. Si dice an ice cream shop, ¿está hablando en singular o en plural? Está diciendo an ice cream shop. An eraser. ¿Mm? An ice cream shop. ¿Está hablando en singular o en plural? Tu pregunta. ¿Te estará haciendo en singular o en plural? ¿Mm? A ver, Jaylo, recuerda singular uno solo, plural, varios, ¿verdad? ¿Mm? There are. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? ¿Segura? Mira, Jaylo, si te dice an ice cream shop, uh, ice cream shop, está hablando de un ice cream shop, de una tienda de helado. Entonces, si te está hablando de una tienda de lado, uno es singular. ¿Y qué usamos para singular? ¿Is o are? ¿Qué decimos? ¿Is there o are there? Is there is. is. Eso. Ok, Jaylo, a ver, léelo completo. Is. Is. There. And ice cream shop. Eso, very good. Thank you very much, J-Lo. Ya, yeah. is there an ice cream shop? Está preguntando, ¿no? Hay un ice cream shop. Ahora la respuesta. Vamos a ver, who is going to give you the answer? Jade Nayeli. Hello, Jade. Hello. Jade. Jade Nayeli. Hello, are you there? Hello, Jade. Okay, I don't know, something is wrong with Jade. Another student, Nolorbe. Okay, Nolorbe, hello, Nolorbe. Hello, Nolorbe. Hello. Okay, I think something is wrong with Nolorbe. Mm, creo que Nolorbe me dijo que su micrófono no está funcionando. Ok, ok, well. Entonces, in the chat, please, no lorbe. Me envías la respuesta in the chat, on the chat, right? ¿Cuál será el answer? Is there an ice cream, uh, oh, sorry, is there an ice cream shop? ¿Cuál será el answer, no lorbe? ¿Cuál será la respuesta? A ver, me escribes en the chat. A ver, no lorbe. Uh -huh. Another student, Ruiz Jansen. Vamos, no lorbe, escríbeme in the chat, ¿ya? Yeah? No, the other student is Ruiz. I'm going to activate Ruiz's microphone. Hello, Ruiz. Hello, teacher. Okay, please, Ruiz, tell me, what is the answer on this part? ¿Cuál será la respuesta en esta parte? Si la pregunta dice, is there an ice cream shop? ¿Cuál será la respuesta? No, there. No, there is. There is, nada más is, así tal cual, seguro, pero si dice no, si es negativo. No, there isn't. Isn't. Very good, Jansen. That's correct. Thank you very much. No, the answer is no, there isn't. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. I'm going to write on this part, isn't. That's correct. Let's continue. What else do we have on this part, on this part? 
Ajá. Jesús Matías Venancio. Vamos a activar Venancio's microphone. Ok. Hello, Jesús. Hello. Jesús. Hello. Ok, Jesús, tell me, what is the answer here? ¿Cómo haré esta pregunta? There switch shops. Ajá, ¿cómo preguntaré? Is there sweet shops? Are there sweet shops? Are there sweet shops? Is there sweet shops? Mm -hmm. there sweet shops? Ya, ¿Pero qué, qué tendré que usar acá? Is, are, isn't, aren't. ¿Qué uso aquí al inicio? Is, de is, is there. Is. A ver, a ver, pero Matías, quiero que prestes atención a lo siguiente. Cuando nosotros usamos is, lo utilizamos para hablar en singular. Pero aquí te está diciendo switch shops. Cuando dice switch shops, ¿es en singular solamente uno o son varios shops? Son varios. Varios, ¿verdad? Entonces, no podría ser is, porque recuerda que is lo uso para singular. Entonces, ¿qué tendría que usar para plural? ¿Mm? ¿Qué tendría que usar para plural? Para plural, sorry, Matías. ¿Qué uso? ¿Is o are? Are. Are. Entonces, ¿cuál será mi pregunta? ¿De qué manera haré mi pregunta aquí? Vamos, Matías. Are there sweet shops? Very good. Are there sweet shops? Thank you very much, Matías. Another student. Who can tell me the answer? Ok, ya. Yeah, Matías nos dijo, are there sweet shops? ¿Y cuál será la respuesta ¿Ah? a esta question, a esta pregunta? ¿Cuál será la respuesta? Are there sweet shops? No, there. A ver, volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Ok, Valentino, tell me please, what is the answer? No, there are. Very good. That's correct. Thank you very much, Valentino. Recuerda, pregunta con R, tienes que responder con R. En este caso, el R negativo, que es el aren't. No, there aren't. ¿Ya? De esta manera. Ok, well, no easy. Está bastante fácil. Now, let's see. What do we have here? Ya. Yeah. I'm going to ask some questions, ok? I'm going to ask some questions. Voy a preguntar. Y ustedes me van a responder de acuerdo a lo que tienen en casita. ¿Ya? Ok. Uh, who wants to participate volunteer? Solamente me tendrás que responder. Me tendrás que responder. No te olvides. ¿eh? En singular, ¿cuál es la respuesta affirmative? Yes. A ver, vamos a ver. Yes, there is. Negative. No, there isn't. Cuando hablamos en singular. Ok, oh, sorry, what happens here? Mo, no, it's not mo, this is no. Ya, yeah. ahora, en plural, vamos a, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Vamos a escribir aquí, singular, ya. Yeah. Ahora vamos a escribir aquí, plural. ¿Cómo respondo en plural? Yes, there are, si es affirmative, o si es negative, simplemente digo, no, there no, there aren't. Ahí está. Ok. Ya, para que no te olvides, estoy poniendo esto aquí para que puedas recordar. Singular, yes. There is, no, there isn't. Plural, yes, there are, no, there aren't. Ya. Ok, volunteer. Who wants to participate? Raise the hand. Levante la mano. Who wants to participate? Ok, Kendra Claudio. Ok. Hello, Kendra. Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kendra. Kendra, is there an elephant in your house? Is there an no, elephant? There, no, there aren't. Ajá, pero te estoy preguntando en plural. Te estoy preguntando, are there elephants? O te estoy preguntando, is there an elephant in your house? No, there isn't. Eso, si te pregunta con is, respondes con is. Thank you very much, Kendra. That's correct. Another student, another student. Okay, volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Okay, Jansen Ruiz. Hello, Jansen. Hello, teacher. Jansen, please. The question for you. Are there cats 
in your house? No, there aren't. Very good, Jansen. Thank you very much. That's correct. Jasser Eminik. Hello, Eminik. Hello, teacher. Okay, Eminik, please. The question for you. Is there a dog in your house? Yes, Aren is. Ajá, a ver, a ver, ¿cómo respondemos? ¿Cómo respondemos? Si te pregunto con is, ¿cómo respondemos? Is there a dog in your house? ¿Cómo se responde? Yes. Yes. Mm. ¿Qué más? Yes. yes. There. There is. Eso, de esa manera. Ok, thank you very much, Jasser Eminik. Another. Chávez, ok. Chávez, Astrid. Ok, Astrid, the question for you. Are there monkeys in your house? Do I know you? I'm a No, there aren't. Very good, Chávez. That's correct. Congratulations. Are there monkeys? No, there aren't monkeys. Another student, Valentino. Ok, hello, Valentino. Hello, teacher. Ok, the question for you, Valentino. Is there a chicken in your house? No, there isn't. Very good. Thank you very much, Valentino. That's the correct answer. Another student. Volunteer, one last volunteer. No more volunteers. No hay más volunteers. Ok, let's continue. Let's continue with the next part. Yeah, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, this is a song, students. We are going to learn a song today. Aha, uh -huh. what are these? Use the chat, please, and answer. Tell me, what are these? What are these? Hmm? Are these crabs? Are these uh, dogs? Are these cats? Are these... What are these? Hmm? Do you remember? Don't remember? Yeah, seafood, mm, yeah, shells, that's correct, these are shells, okay, very good, Valentino. Now, you are going to listen, this, where is this children, donde estará este children, at the school or at the beach, what do you think, donde estará este student, este children, at the school or at the beach, hmm? Yeah, very good. This, this student is at the beach, right? Este niño está at the beach, en la playa. Don't forget. Now, I'm going to play the music. This is a song, okay? This is a song. Es una canción. I'm going to play this for you. Pay attention. Let's go to the beach. Let's play in the sun. Let's look for shells Holidays are fun Is there sand on the beach? Are there fish in the sea? Are there shells on the beach? Yes, there are Let's go to the beach Let's play in the sun Let's look for shells Holidays are fun Are there trees on the beach? Are there boats on the sea? Is the sun Day. Yes, there is. Come with me. Let's go to the beach. Let's play in the sun. Let's look for shells. Holidays are fun.
Okay, that's a really nice song, right? Yeah, I really like, I really like, me encanta this song, it's beautiful, that's so nice. Okay, well, students, now we don't have enough time, I want to show you something here, yeah? You know, ya no tenemos mucho tiempo, así que voy a mostrarles lo siguiente. El homework que van a tener que realizar. Ya, este es el último homework del año, students. You must be happy. Deberían ponerse felices. Así que espero que lo, ha, que lo hagan, pues, lo más bonito que puedan. Ya, lo más bonito posible. Recuerda, es el último homework, el último video que vas a grabar por este año. ¿Ok? What are you gonna do? ¿Qué es lo que vas a hacer exactamente? Luana se pone happy, Astrid también dice, yeah, el último homework, ok. Pero yo no les he dejado mucho homework este año, les dejaba poco, right? Ya. Yeah. Además, yo me, me divertía mucho con sus homeworks de ustedes, porque algunos se esmeraban bastante, hacían homeworks, videos tan bonitos que disfrutaba de sus videos cuando los veía, ¿ok? Ya, así que espero que este, este último video también lo hagan así bien bonito, lo más bonito que puedan. A ver, ¿qué dice aquí? Este homework, ¿qué vas a hacer? Pues vas a grabar un video. Como siempre, ese video lo vas a subir al grupo de Facebook de tu salón, ¿verdad? Al grupo de tercero A de primaria. ¿Qué, qué es lo que vas a, ¿De qué vas a hablar en este video? Vas a hablar acerca de algunos lugares y vas a usar there is, there are, there isn't y there aren't. ¿Ok? ¿Ya? Vas a usar esto. Vas a... Ahorita les voy a explicar exactamente, les voy a poner algunos ejemplos de cómo van a organizar estos, eh, estos, estos, estas oraciones. ¿Ya? Como siempre, vas a empezar pues con tu greeting, tu saludo, ¿no? Hello teacher and classmates, my name is... Su nombre. Today I will talk about there is and there are. Este es el topic. There is and there are. ¿Ya? Aquí están los ejemplos. ¿De qué manera vas a tener que elaborar? Son, ya, no te sorprendas, Luanita, son 16 en total, pero yo ya hice 4 para ustedes. Aquí están los 4, que si deseas, tú puedes usarlos para tu trabajo, ya está. Puedes, puedes hacer estos 4, puedes copiar estos 4, no hay problema, ¿ya? Pero, ¿qué es lo que vas a hacer? En los siguientes, sí, pues, lo vas a tener que hacer tú, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo primero que vas a hacer es, vas a indicar el lugar donde estás. Puedes mostrarme algunas imágenes, etcétera, o puedes imaginarte que estás en algunos lugares, etcétera, ¿no? Por ejemplo, dices, I am in my bedroom. Yo estoy en mi dormitorio. I am in my bedroom. Y ahora, voy a usar there is para indicarte lo que hay en mi dormitorio. For example, there is a closet. Y está. Qué fácil, ¿verdad? I am in my bedroom. There is a closet. Estoy en, yo estoy en mi dormitorio. Hay un closet. Listo. ¿Qué más? Por ejemplo, aquí vas a mencionar otro lugar. I am in the park. Yo estoy en el parque. Y luego te indico lo que hay. There are trees. ¿Qué cosa hay? Hay árboles. Y ahora, ¿por qué arriba usé is? Porque es singular, pues, a closet. ¿Por qué aquí estoy usando are? Porque estoy hablando en plural, pues, trees. ¿Verdad? Ahora vamos al siguiente ejemplo. Digo, I am in the swimming pool. Estoy en la piscina. Y luego te indico aquí. There isn't a boat. Te estoy indicando algo que no hay. ¿Qué estoy usando? There isn't, ¿no? Te digo, there isn't a boat, no hay un bote. Lógico, pues estoy en the, sim, en the swimming pool, estoy en la piscina, right? Ahora aquí, en mi example number four, I am in the cinema, estoy en el cine, ¿verdad? Yo estoy en el cine, I am in the cinema. Y luego, ¿qué te digo? There aren't balls, te estoy indicando lo que no hay, there aren't balls. No hay pelotas. Lógico, pues, el cine no es una cancha de fútbol, ¿verdad? There aren't balls. Y ahora me dirás, teacher, ¿por qué arriba usted ha usado isn't a boat? Y abajo me está diciendo aren't balls. Pues simplemente isn't, porque estoy hablando a boat en singular. Mientras que abajo estoy hablando balls, pelotas en plural. Ya, no te olvides. Is para singular, 
ar para plural. La forma negativa de is, isn't. La forma negativa de ar, aren't. De esa manera. De igual manera, pues tú, en los ejemplos que vas a tener que hacer tú solo, vas a usar igualito. Vas a usar there is, there are. There isn't, there aren't. ¿Ya? Aquí. Me vas a hablar de diferentes lugares. Me puedes hablar, eh, yo estoy en mi cocina, yo estoy en mi sala, yo estoy en el parque, yo estoy en, en la tienda, yo estoy eh, de pronto, eh, no sé, en el restaurante, yo estoy en la casa de mi primo, yo estoy en el patio, yo estoy en el campo, yo estoy en la playa, uy, etcétera, infinidad de lugares que me puedes mencionar, ¿verdad? Y luego infinidad de cosas que me puedes decir que hay o que no hay en ese lugar. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, me puedes decir, I am at the zoo, estoy en el zoológico, there are animals en plural, ¿verdad? Hay animales, ¿ok? Entonces, de esa manera, ¿alguna pregunta, chicos, hasta ahí? Está fácil, ¿verdad? Después de haber hecho, ah, ya, por ahí de pronto alguien me dice, Tiche, pero ya se me acabaron las ideas de lugares, no, ya, ya usé parque, ya usé zoológico, ya usé playa, ya usé dormitorio, ya usé cocina, ya usé este, patio, sala, comedor, etc. ¿Puedo repetir algunos lugares? Ya, está bien, puedes repetir algunos, no todos, pero unos tres lugares puedes repetir. ¿no? Puedes hacer dos ejemplos en el cine, ya, perfecto. Puedes hacer dos ejemplos que estás en, 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 en la piscina, ya, pues no. Pero trata de no repetir mucho, ¿no? De un par de lugares puedes repetirlo, pero, pero de los demás trata de que sean lugares este, diferentes. Hay infinidad de cosas. Puedes decir, estoy en el taxi, estoy en el bus, estoy en el avión, estoy en el bote. Imagínate, uff, infinidad de lugares. ¿Ya? Ok. Luego terminas de presentar tus examples, simplemente dices aquí, Thank you very much, that's all for today, y goodbye. ¿Ya? De esa manera. ¿Alguna pregunta, chicos? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Cuántos? Son 16 en total, ¿ya? Tal como está aquí. Pero lógicamente yo te estoy dando cuatro ejemplos acá. No vuelvo a repetir. Esos cuatro ejemplos tú los puedes usar ya para que hagas tu video. O sea, ya tienes prácticamente cuatro, ¿verdad? Solamente tendrías que hacer la diferencia. O sea, lo que tienes que completar aquí, pues, para completar a tus 16. ¿Ya? ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Ninguna? ¿Ok? It's all clear, right? ¿Todo está claro? ¿Yes? Uh -huh. Ajá, la fecha de presentación, la fecha límite, chicos, está aquí, ¿verdad? El 14 de diciembre. Yo les recomiendo que traten de hacer antes, ¿ya? ¿Por qué? Porque más o menos para esta temporada también ustedes ya van a empezar, creo, con sus exámenes este, finales, ¿no? Entonces, para que no se acumulen de trabajo, traten de hacerlo entre esta semana, la otra semana más tardar, de tal forma que ya estén libres de hacer este trabajo y solo luego se dediquen a estudiar para sus exámenes finales, ¿ya? Entonces, esa es la recomendación, ¿no? La fecha límite es el 14, 14 de diciembre. Son dos semanas exactamente. ¿Ya? Ok, well, students, creo que todo está claro. Así que, that's all for today. Thank you, thank you very much. See you in the next class. Goodbye, students. Goodbye, goodbye.